wake up, get up and move in your purpose. Good morning, family. Know that you are continually loved, honored and appreciated. Thank by God, thank by myself to be connected with you. God bless you all. Uh, yes, we're going to the next level. Today is day 24. And remember, as we as we embrace the, the principles of God and, and be consistently con encouraged uh, that I'm winning the battle. That was the biggest thing about this week is knowing where the fight is, where the battle is and who you're really fighting against at all times. But now that we've really confirmed it through the word of God that we're set in the standing position. Remember, we stand to withstand to stand. For this evil day, remember, we know that we, we've already confirmed throughout the week that it's not the flesh and blood. It's not the person. It's not that. It's, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. If it's if it's length, width, death or height, we, we've already removed it from any fault. And we know that we weren't we weren't knowledgeable enough. The Bible says we perished for lack of knowledge. We we didn't have enough knowledge to know that the battle was not ours, but the battle is the Lord's. If you know that. The battle's already been won. When he when he came off the cross and when he descended into Hades and broke the veil, the battle was already won. Now we're in a state of waiting because God is looking for those faithful, those, 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 those warriors that are ready to fight today to go to another day of rest, to go to another day of, 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 of his glory, not yours, uh, his praise, not yours, his authority, not yours. So we're, we're really molding ourselves. All right, here, let me make it personal as I always will. I'm molding me to being converted into a little child and to being converted into a spiritual being and knowing that I go by the spirit, not by the flesh. I know that, that, that I pray in all ways and all prayer and supplication where we left off on, 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 the, um, on Wednesday and, and knowing that we're watchful Constantly, you got to win, win. I'm watchful, win. I'm watchful. You better stay watchful. See, we, we, we lose ground when we get so unconscious. And it's not, don't, don't, don't beat yourself up. Remember I said we perish for a lack of knowledge. When you get the knowledge, you now get understanding, you get a revelation and you get application. And now you can take those, 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 those revelations that now grow you from the mysterious to the knowing how to convert the mysterious into the actual, that you can have a faith that walks by faith, not by sight. And you go and you're growing and you're growing. Are you, do you see change in yourself? A lot of times we look for somebody else to tap you on the shoulder and say, you Joe, look different. Do you see a change in yourself? When you are really working on you, you see a difference every day. You know, you know, you know with something like, oh, if they only knew. Come on, somebody, celebrate that with me. If they only knew <laughs> what my reaction would have been yesterday. But today, I'm, 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 I'm staying in an always attitude of praying and in supplication and, and being watchful to the end. And remember saying we must be have perseverance and supplication for all the saints. But if we're going to do it for all the saints, you got to know how to do it for yourself. That's where I'm getting better. I'm, I'm learning how to work this thing for myself. I'm, I'm, I'm learning how, how to put the things in order and, and into perspective. Come on, Pastor Dwayne Collins. That's one of his favorite. How to put things into perspective. Well, we pray and we're praying in all ways and supplication and, and we got perseverance. But are we really equipped to pray? <laughs> There's some different areas. You remember, I think in week one. When we were talking about the I am, who is? He is the I am. The I am the good shepherd. I am the, the, the truth, the light, and the way. He is the I am, the resurrection and the life. He is the I am. But have you embraced the I am? Because now you're growing into the I am. No, you just like him. No, you sound just like him. You, 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 you look just like him. You move just like him. Remember, you were made in his image. That spiritually, it could change your outer look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know sometimes people only want to come up on us. Some of the looks that we carry in us. But to know that, that I'm, I'm into the prayer and into, into the praying always and into, into every conversation. Like right now, let me just be real. Right now, I'm praying as I'm speaking to you. 
Because I'm releasing my fleshly uh, uh, apparatus and I'm allowing it to be used by God to speak what he has already Im embedded in me by me listening. And now opening it up as a vessel and saying, I'm going to kill anything of me. <laughs> and let's listen to all of him. Let's see him come alive in me today. Let, let, let's see him be seen through me today. Let, let somebody witness about Jesus because of what they saw Jesus in me like. See, remember, I tell you guys all the time, when I see you, I don't see you no more. Because I probably would not like you. You probably would not like me. But when I look at you, I see the God in you because you've embraced it. You know the spirit by the spirit. That's why you pray always. But we're going to go today, and I said, and I, I, and I, and I committed to this. Going to kind of go off track and, and, and from what we thought the schedule was, and to know in this wilderness, these are some important things. Now, 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 get mad at me if you like. But if we ain't talking about prayer, we ain't talking about nothing. Every sermon should always be, first of all, unified by love. Love is the unifying principle. But then prayer is what gets you connected to the unifying principle. And if you don't have prayer, you don't have love. And if you don't have love, you don't have prayer. And that has to be the substance of what you operate on. Stop. Oh, no, 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 no. It won't work. You, I tried it. It won't work. Use me as your crash dummy. And say any of that foolish things, foolish stuff that I thought I should do, I won't do it because he just told me he was he was a train wreck. He was smashing and destroying all over the place. <laughs> but God, when you submit to Him, when you submit to Him, guess what? You have faith in God. Matthew, uh, Mark eleven uh, nineteen. Have faith in God. Now you can have a relationship with God. You go to the next level. So we're going to kind of uh, evaluate prayer warriors. Come on, say, are you? Now, if this, this may hurt today. If you're out there and you say, I'm a prayer warrior. Yes, I am. Well, I'm going to give you some characteristics of some things that you have to been already proved of. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, Vine. Be proved. Let those things be withered away that are not of God. Let it be enriching fruit that God has put in you. Because you abided in him and now he abides in you anything that you say. Now because the word is in you, it shall be done. Watch this. Chapter 5 of James. Now, a lot of people don't go back this far. We just want to go to 16. Uh, uh, well, they, they might even go back uh, to 13. If anyone among you suffering, let him pray. If anyone is cheerful, let him sing. Oh, watch this. But do they ever go back to 1? <laughs> To really say, are you built for this? Where's Minister Charlene? She, are you built for this? That's her shirt. Are you built for this? See, because you can't just come up in here thinking that you're going to just manipulate God. Or, oh, come on now, the people of God. See, when we're connected in one, I'm watching out for you. I, I, I better have your best interests at heart. At all times. I know I have needs. I know it's things. But I should always be looking out for your best interest. If I'm truly a child of God. If I've truly been converted. I must be willing to see better in you than I see in myself. I must be willing to see you grow and elevate higher than I'll ever go. Oh yes, you might turn around and pull me up. And I and we keep pulling each other up, and that's what we should be doing. But 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 my ultimate goal is to want to see better for you. Yes, it should be, and as as well should you. Chapter five, verse one. We're talking about prayer wars. Are you really a righteous man? Now, ladies, we're talking to you too because. Christ came that we all can have life and have it life more abundantly. Christ came that you got a chance just like I do. Christ came to put you in, in order just like he came to put me in order. So there's no excuses. Come now, rich, weak, and... Wait, 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 wait. Let me move my bookmark. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get my little... 
Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your misery that are coming upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eating. Your gold and silver are corroded and their corrosion will be a witness against you and you will eat your flesh like fire. You have heaped up treasure in the last days. Oh, watch this. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Indeed, the wages of the laborers who mold, who mold your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out. And the cries of the, of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of the Sabbath. You have lived on the earth in the pleasures of luxuries. You have fattened your hearts as the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the just. He does not resist you. Watch this, watch this. See, some things you have to be rid of. I want to really kind of slow down on, on, on one through six. Because before you can ever become converted, this is your first conversion. Being broken of the things of this world and being built in the things of heaven that you now have been totally tweaked. The Bible says renewed, totally renewed. The Bible also says transformed, totally transformed. See, you can't also have anything that will put you in this category. I'm not rich, uh, but you put TV over God. Uh, uh, you say, I don't have this. Oh, no, but you... You let that distract you. Uh, you love him more than you love him. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lot of things that you can serve better than you're serving God. Uh-huh, because that's what gets most of your attention. Remember I said this two weeks ago. We serve, we, we serve a jealous God. Je jealous is intolerable of any rivalry. If there's something that is you're battling to give God more of than that, then you are robbing God. We try to say, well, I pay my tithes. I'm not robbing God. No, 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 no. That's cheating. Uh-uh. That's cheating. No, when you're robbing God is when you're not giving God everything he's required of you. I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm trying to help us today. So we don't have to deal with these things no more because if you're dealing with these characteristics of a rich and deceitful person, you, you had somebody come do labor for you, but you only gave them half of what they should have got. You cheated. Oh, no, really look at it. Really, God told you to release it, but you held on to it. You cheated God. It wasn't the person that you cheated. You cheated God. Uh-uh, uh God told you to give it away. You only gave one. He told you to give ten. You cheated God. You thought, oh, they can do, they, they all right. They'll be okay with one. No, no. What has God told you to do? That's what you should be doing and nothing else. I'm sorry. I might have been a recipient of one of the things he told you to do. Do what God told you to do. You're not cheating me. You're not cheating a man. You're not cheating your man. You're, you, you are cheating God. Fix it today. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Even if you wasted it on yourself, what God told you to do for somebody else, take the take the licking, take the whooping, and make up ground today. Because you will be condemned. This is the word of God. Come, let's read it again together. Come on, open your Bible. Don't just listen to me. Come now, you rich. Weep and howl for your misery that are coming upon you. It's coming. But the thing about Jesus is you can break the cycle right now. You can fix it all right now. You can make it all right right now. All you got to do is repent. Oh, Lord, I, 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 oh, I, thought, I, thought I, I thought I was managing what you had told me to do. And I was going I, I to get to it. Uh -uh. Repent today. Say, Lord, forgive me. I'm going to listen better. And when I listen better, that means I obey better. And when I obey better, that means I sacrifice better. And when I sacrifice better, I'm obedient. Oh yeah, obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes to your will, your way, your word, and everything you've told me to do. I'm going to really make this thing work for me. And I'm going to stop cheating myself. 
Yes, 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 yes. You cheat God when you're not obeying him, but you really cheat yourself because it's going to come back on you. Don't you know God is going to bless you as you do what he tells you to do? Woo, Jesus. You must break this cycle because greater things are coming. Watch this, verse 7. Therefore, be patient, brother, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See, don't worry about it every day. Remember I, remember I said to you, be patient, be patient, be patient. See, 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 the coming of the Lord is coming, but you don't know the day, the hour. You just got to be ready. Oh, no, I want to be prepared. I don't want to be ready. I want to be prepared. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. Then you better be prepared for the place. Got to put some work in. And get it right. You got to look, you got to get it right. Oh, no, we're going to get this thing right. Yes, we are, because I'm encouraged by you and you're encouraged by me that we can get this right. I was sharing with, with, my, with, with a good, good, good brother of mine in the Lord and in, in friendship and in, in just in like my brother from another mother. And I never use that phrase. But if you if you looked at us standing next to each other, you'd be like, they ain't related. We, we so different in color, like charcoal and white next to each other. But the kindred spirit in that is so dynamic because we can talk to one another without any judgment or anything. And, and he made a statement. He was like, man, I said, man, bro, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The number, the ratio number is one. And if this one that left wherever I'm at better than they came, the, then I've broken the ratio. I, I done broken it. I'm up on the next level now. I'm on the next level now. I'm on the next level now. I'm not worried about what. No, 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 no. I'm not going to look at the physical. We're always talking about length, width, depth, and height. Don't you know those those characteristics have to do with numbers and capacity and 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 attendance and stuff like that. If we pay attention to that, you won't be able to be effective. See, being ready in and out of season. Means whether it's one or a million or none, you're going to do what God told you to do. That's real talk. Because in your patience, watch this. Be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for his precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and later rain. You also be patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Ooh, stop, hit the brakes. Arrgh! You need a mind transfusion. Every day, I'm trying to change my mind. Every day, I'm changing my mind. Every day, I'm tweaking my old thinking into new thinking. Every day, I'm going to another level and another revelation that I even amaze myself that God used me for the things that he is using me to do. And he's saying the things that he's saying through me. I am so honored to be a child of God. <laughs> oh, I'm so introducing Jesus. If you didn't know him, let me tell you about the man that can change your complete situation. But you got to be patient and get your mind right for the coming. Not for the, not for the judgment. Not for the persecution. No, for the coming of the Lord. So you're not worried about if you did wrong because you're doing right. You ain't got to worry about bad if you ain't doing bad. If you're doing what's right in the eyesight of God, you don't have to worry about what nobody else is saying. You have to be patient for the coming of the Lord. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Because he says it's at hand. Do not grumble against one another, brethren. Least you be condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. You better be watched out, y'all. See, see, I'm trying to get us right. I'm trying to get us right because next week, day 25 on Monday, we ain't going, we're not going into wilderness training day 25 trying to get right. We're going to be right. This is our section of, 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 of pause break <laughs> that you get ready for the rest of the week for the battle the whole way for starting Monday. The battle is on. Get ready. Oh, you might not listen. You may not show up. I see the numbers today low. It's all good. 
If it's one out there that says, hallelujah, I'm with you, Pastor E, then I'm good. I'm not wasting nobody's time. I'm doing what God has told me to do. And I already see that. I already see my covenant partners out there. We good. But on Monday, we going in. Yes. On Monday, we going in. We going hard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's time to get out. My grandson, he was like, what you say? To get in. One of my friends I grew up with. It's time to get out. You better be ready. You better be strapped up. You better be armored up. You better be ready to. And loved up to go in. We going to battle next week. We going to show God we done learned some stuff. We going to show God that we are worthy of this calling. We going to show God that we ready in and out of season. And come on, bring it. Because we down for this. And we are, we are built for this. Watch this. My brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord, verse 10, as an example of suffering and patience. Indeed, we count them blessed to endure. You have heard of the perseverance of Job and seen the end intended by the Lord. The Lord is very compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brethren, God, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or wrath any other oath. But let your yes be yes and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. See, you got to be ready for this thing. Don't say yes to this if you uh, don't stop playing. Stop playing. Stop faking and shaking. Stop. No, no, no. It's time to stop tricking yourself. You ain't tricking nobody. Other people see it. No, 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 no. You think you're tricking someone. No, 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 no. You're tricking yourself because other, other people see that. Other people can see that mess all around. Uh, uh, I told you, your environment tells everything. You know, the stuff around you tells everything who you really are. You better watch yourself. Get your house in order. For the coming of the Lord is at hand. But above all, my brother, verse 12, do not swear either by heaven or earth or with any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. Now, oh, hit right there. Let me just tell you something. Ain't nothing wrong with knowing no. You just got to know you're saying the right no. Ain't nothing wrong. That is, no is a very, uh, I tell people this all every day if I have to. No is a very invaluable word in your conversion to being a chill, child. A child of God. Because you got to tell the man stuff no. You got to tell that female stuff, no, uh-uh, you got to be a child. Let's say, I, no, 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 I'm going to be a baby. Uh-uh, I'm too, that's too grown folks for me. Uh, that's too intent for me. I'm not going, oh, no, 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 you can have it. Uh-uh. See, when you're a child, you know you're too little for that. Uh-uh, I don't even play like that no more. I tell them in a minute, oh, no, 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 give me my motto. <laughs> give me my holy pacifier. I'm good. I'm good. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to let you have it. Man, how can you say that so confidently? Because I have joy in the Lord and what he is pouring into me, I'm full. But I had to learn to say no. Now watch how important no is the yes because now everything to God is yes. You don't have to say yes no more because your life is yes. You don't have to say a yes no more because your, your reactions are yes. You don't have to say yes no more because your commitment is yes. And amen. And God favors you for, for your, your commitment to know that you committed to no 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 don't try me with that and it feels so good oh my god it feels so good it's so liberating I dare somebody this weekend to take on the word no as a personal uh 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 response to people who trying to get you to do something that you know is not right for you. No. Huh? What you say? You always say yes. Uh-uh, no. I, I made a commitment with Pastor E in agreement. And I and I, and I I promised to God that I'm going to use no more this weekend than I ever had before. And by Monday morning, I'm going to see more results in my, in my spiritual life than I've ever, ever, ever seen. I dare you to go in. I dare you to do it. No. Don't be doing it. You, you got to learn how to say no in love, though. 
You gotta get you gotta get the, the art of saying no in love. Oh yo, no, people said wait a minute, he said no, and I'm not cool with that, but just the way he brought it to me, I can't how can I go off on that? No, 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 no. 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 No, I love, I love you. No, no. I tell you what I say yes to. Won't you come over here to this event with me? We're going to be worshiping. We're going to be passing out uh, food and water. We're going to be helping the kids in the park that are homeless. And then they say no. Uh-uh. But see, now my yes is yes. And I'm not worried about their no. I wish they would have came. I really did. I really do. I really wish you would have been there. I wish, really wish you would have heard me. I really, but that's not my concern. I'm going to do what my yes says yes. Because watch this. There's a point where now the anointing overgrowing in your nose give you the power in the yeses. Because then John 14, 12 comes to life. He says, if you believe in me and the works that I do, you will do also. But greater things you will do. See, now that revelation comes because you know it's not by power and might, but it's by the spirit of God. It is by faith. And faith produces. It really does. But you have to be willing to be patient and see hope come to the thing. There is a result coming for you. But is there something blocking it? You got to know a lot of times it's you that's blocking the blessing God has for your life. We're here. All right. And that sounded condemning. A lot, almost all the time, I was the one blocking God's blessings for my life. Every time. Every time I was block, blocking God's blessings for my life. No more. Won't do it again. Ever again. Ever, ever, ever again. I'm going to get out my way. Because I do believe, and I believe in him and the works that he did. Oh, yes, I do. And I know I'm going to do greater things, but I oh, I'm going to do just what he said do. I'm going to learn how to pray. Watch this. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. See, a lot of times the first thing you want to do is pick up the phone. And go, Pastor Ed, I'm sure. Will you pray over me? And you know what I'm going to say? No. Have you prayed for yourself? See, it says, is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. God going to send you the right answer and he going to send the right people. But you got to first pray. See, when you pray, that means you believe. When you pray, that means you've already achieved. Oh, uh, no, no. And then when you pray, that means you've already received it. You just wait on it to catch up. Because now you're going to walk by faith and not by sight. People can say, you, you sound sick, but you don't look sick. How you come to work? You got a mask on? No, uh, uh, I'm going to no, get up. I got to train myself to say no to the body want to quit. And say yes to the Lord that says get up. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Watch this. Is there anyone among? Is, is anyone, is there any, let, let him pray. Is there any cheerful? Let him sing songs. Is there anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with the oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer, watch this, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. It didn't say the prayer of healing. It said the prayer of faith. See, faith is saying something you believe to be done. Watch this. And the prayer, and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. See, in my praying with you, I'm praying that I be healed also. It's supposed to be that as I pray for you, you pray for me. That means we're really praying because we want to see both of us healed. We want to see both of us get uh, 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 delivered. We want to see both of us uh, uh, transformed. Is that we become on equal ground? That I'm not trying to beat you. You're not trying to beat me. We try to raise each other up. Ooh, that's going to drop and drop hard. Wake up, get up, move in your purpose. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. Now, I ask this a lot and I'll keep asking. Are your prayers availing much? Then you probably back up in, 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 in verses 1 through 6. Oh, oh, they come through sometime, you get a little trinkle, then that must be you in 7 and, and 8, but you still got some deals with being patient and waiting on the Lord. Oh, and if all hell broke loose, you just ain't doing it right. I was there too. Don't feel bad. But I repented and God forgave me. And today I can say I walk by faith and not by sight. 
I'm in this wilderness training with you because of God's call on my life, not because I want to be something to you or be proven or anything else by man. I want to be pleasing in God's eyesight. And when he tells you to do it, you better do it. And do it joyfully. Joy, do it willfully. Do it, do it with pride. And watch what he does for you. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. In Jesus' name.